Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So today, oh, before we start, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and a big thumbs up. So, Bonji's Book Club for Broken Hearts. And today I'm going to talk about fear. It's, I mean, it can be related to um, how we feel and being afraid. So you want somebody just always to be always be there to protect you. But um, you can get nowhere if you're fearful of everything. And trust me, I, with my promotion that I talked about, um, you know, over the last week, I became really afraid and anxious. And um, I just couldn't get anything right. Just, I couldn't do it. I don't know why. I didn't know why then. And then I, you know, was thinking about it and thinking about it. And I was just like, oh my God, it's like I'm afraid in my heart. I don't have confidence in myself. And as we're talking about confidence, the confident woman, I'm like, all right, so let me get my book out. Um, it's crazy. I would just, you know, I would have an assignment to do. I would have something to do and I would just freeze up. And not only is that bad on me, but it makes me look bad. Um, and my, I feel my bosses might, you know, think, oh, well, maybe I made a mistake in this or whatever, but I know I can do it. I know I, I got it. I can do it. I have it in my head. Everything is there, but the fear is holding me back. So, you know, just try to, try to get past that. Um, so I got the book out. And so this is what we're going to read today. Okay. So a confident woman refuses to live in fear. I will not fear. This is what I say now, and it actually worked. <laughs> um, it is the only acceptable attitude we can have towards fear. That does not mean that we will never feel fear, but it does mean that it will allow, it will not allow, that we will not allow it to rule our decisions and actions. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's how I was, how I was. So being afraid made me, it, it, it made an impact on my work or, and how I was working, which was actually poor because I was afraid and I was afraid to just make a mistake or I was afraid that, um, you know, I want, I wanted to, to see so much that I just became anxious and afraid and scared. And so I just messed up and that that's, that's a, it's a horrible feeling, especially when you know you can do something. So it says, um, the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear. Fear is not from God. It is the devil's tool to keep people from enjoying their lives and making progress. Fear causes a person to run, retreat, and shrink back. The Bible says in Hebrews 10, 38, that we are to live by faith and not draw back in fear. And we will, and if we draw back in fear, God's soul has no delight in us. And it does not mean that God does not love us, it says. It just simply means that he is disappointed because he wants us to experience all of the good things that he has planned for us. So, when we can receive from God by faith, we should, we should strive to do everything by faith. So, one night I, I sat in my car before I went to go into work and, you know, I said a prayer and I was just like, God, please, um, you know, since I don't, have confidence in myself and I don't believe in myself you know I want to go in there believing in you and um you know I still have to have that confidence in myself I have to have that faith in myself because I know what I can do um but I I felt better and I was relieved and some of the anxiety and fear did go away and I actually did a really great job that night with minimum mistakes <laughs> but little one so it was good and I was happy and I was and I to proved to me that you got this you just have to believe in yourself and believe in your faith but most of all believe in yourself don't don't let the past um rule you now I mean things happened to me almost 15 years ago that in the last week has come up and just paralyzed me um and made me feel just just um below myself it made me feel that I was that insecure person that I was 15 years ago and it was just so frustrating and aggravating for me because I, I didn't understand where where it was coming from so my point is that 
if these feelings come up, this fear, anxiety, think about it. First, think about it. Like, stop and think about it. And, you know, try to figure out where is it coming from because... I feel so much better knowing that okay, this is what hap this is what's happening. I'm I'm getting anxious. I'm fearful. I'm of losing, of, of messing up. So you can you can even you know do that in your relationship if you're afraid that he's going to do something or she's going to do something and you know that they're not. <laughs> um, make sure that you know that they're not and make sure you you know you have that trust and all of that stuff because. If you're with the person that does that, then you need to just, you know, look at yourself and, you know, cut that short. But there's a decent man like my husband. In the beginning, I was just a mess and I was afraid of him cheating on me and going out and doing things. And it, it, it had an impact on, on us in the beginning. It's much better now because I totally, I totally and completely trust him and he trusts me. So that's good. But don't let fear rule you don't let it take over your the person that you know that you are and what you can do in your accomplishments go for it and fight through it i i mean i would sing when i get afraid i would home i'd be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but unfortunately i can't do that right now because i have books and pens in my hands and everything so we should strive to do everything with the spirit with a spirit of faith Faith is confidence in God and a belief that his promises are true. So when a person begins to walk in faith, Satan immediately, immediately tries harder to, to get things through to you, to get you scared, to get, to get you living in fear. Faith will cause a person to go forward, to try new things and be aggressive. I believe fear is the main evil force that Satan uses against people. Fear causes people to bury their talents due to failure of failure. Like I just said, I was so afraid to fail. I mean, right? Like, this is what I'm saying. And and I know that I'm good at what I do. So, I, this is just... It, it it means so it meant so much for me to read this and to understand what was going on inside of me um just a lot so judgment so a failure judgment and criticism it causes them to draw back in misery and live in torment so we have to make our decision to fear not it says in there and there and um you know don't be afraid don't don't be when those thoughts come in your head or when you get that feeling, you know, just close your eyes, take a deep breath and tell yourself, I got this. I will not fear. I will not fear. And just, you know, make yourself believe that you are okay. You will not live in fear of, of anything, of things that you know you can do, accomplish and, and get out there and, you know, see. Um, I, I, I used to be so afraid to drive that I only just did my little square, home market work, home work, you know, and um, I, I just never got any, got anywhere to see anything. I was afraid to fly and, you know, until my sister said, we're going to Vegas and I was like, okay, wait, all right. And it was okay. Flying wasn't bad. Um, I was, so much I was a, afraid of doing that I'm doing, even this promotion I got, I was afraid to months ago just to go for it. And then I just talk myself into just doing it because that's what I want to do. And I cannot let fear hold me back. So if this week in a confident woman, fear, fear not, my friends. Don't be afraid. Do your life. Be happy. Be strong. And, you know, pray or um, just believe in yourself. And if you get doubt, stop think about them and know that they're not true. Even you have to write, okay, well, this is positive. This is negative. Um, these thoughts are just like not even, they, they're they not even relevant. It's just your mind. It's just a evilness of, of what people have put you through that's making you think that you're not as good as you know that you are. So remember that and don't be afraid and get out there and do you. Um, if you do get afraid, just say, I fear not. I will fear not. I will fear not. And hold your head up high. Take deep breaths and try. Don't run away. Fight through it. Fight through it. I mean, if I, 
you know, I was even thinking about going to my bosses and, and telling them my story and all that. But I'm thinking, no, I've got God and I've got faith in both of us and I can do this. So we're fighting back. I'm fighting back and I'm fighting against my fear. I'm fighting whatever it is that's popping up in my head that's thinking that it's going to hold me back because it's not because I am strong. I am stronger than I act. I am stronger than I look inside and out. So I will fight these fears and I will win against these fears and anxiety and, and not even stress. But do you do get you do get stressed when you're when you having fear and anxiety. So yeah, and stress. So I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna put on my walk it off video, which we do walk off fear, anxiety, stress, depression. I'm gonna do me a little bit of exercise and tomorrow I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna do my thing. So that was now this week's from book from, from Yvonne's book club for broken hearts, Joyce Myers. We love her. And I mean, we have a little bit more. I don't, I try not to tell you like a whole lot that's in the books or anything because I really want you to go and get it and read the book because um, the books I read, like I said, it did help me get over my heartbreak. It made me feel so much better about myself. Um, I became a stronger woman. I, I found the true love within myself. So which really makes it different because if you can't love yourself, then how do you expect anybody else to love you? So, so, so many of us want to be loved by a man or a woman and you know, they want this love so bad. And, and we say to us, Oh, I love him so much. I just, I don't understand. And I love him more than anything in the world. Try loving yourself more than anything in the world, you know? And if somebody's treating you bad and you're in a relationship and they're not calling you and everything, instead of calling them, pick up the phone and call your son or your daughter or your aunts or your uncle or your mother, somebody that deserves that phone call. We are women, creatures unlike any other. So we don't chase, remember that, and we don't live in fear. And we can conquer anything that's trying to hold us back from where we know we need to be or go or in, and just, you know, do. So <laughs> just do. So yeah, so that's it. Thank you. Don't forget Bonji's Book Club, The Confident Woman is what we're reading. So make sure you go out and get that by Joyce Meyer. And please don't forget to subscribe hit, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and a big thumbs up. You are blessed. Um, get out there and do not fear. Bye, friends.